what's up, y'all? Here to clear the air up on something that, I mean, not clear the air up, but address something that coaches I've noticed on social media have been doing wrong, and I never actually researched it, but it banned assisted jumps. These have kind of just become uh, who can jump the highest holding onto these bands, and it's like that's not what this was about, and we are going to be diving. All right, we're going to actually have triphasic training. This version of it, I don't know what one is this. doesn't matter. I'm not going to bore you with that. I am going to dive right into um, the book here from Cal when he's talking about page 153, talking about doing French contrast. And when he talks about it, he says, you know, you do the heavy exercise, the plyometric, um, then you would do another, you know, strength exercise, then the assisted. So he says here, many types of plyometrics can be used, but keep in mind you want to use ones that best mimic the athlete's sport. The plyometric will be key guidance in observing the joint stiffness qualities of the athlete change over six to nine week mesocycle. Let's start there. Joint stiffness. When you watch these videos of coaches that have their athletes doing band assisted jumps, they are not being stiff on the ground. They're spending way too long on the ground and they're jumping super high. They're spending all that time on the ground so they can jump super high. And I think this is where coaches have gotten it wrong is they didn't understand that they're supposed to be doing this to increase joint stiffness, not, oh, how high can I get my athletes to jump? And you see this all over social media. I'm not calling out one specific coach, one specific program. I'm saying as a whole, when you scroll social media, you see too many coaches that just have their athletes yanking on the band, spending too long on the ground to be like, oh, look how high I got my athletes to jump. Don't ruin something that was good that Coach Cal Dietz put out. This is fantastic that he has put out with this book. It's a great book. I'm rereading it. So let's go to the next point here. Here, I often use an accelerated form of plyometric to keep the velocity of the movement at the highest level possible. This is also from page 156. I will say that again. Here, I often use an accelerated form of plyometric to keep the velocity at the highest movement at the highest level possible. So when you're spending so long on the ground, that's not the velocity at the, at the highest. It's not, you're on the ground too long. Now, somebody might say, oh, well, velocity of hip contraction might be super high when I'm jumping super duper high. That's not what he's talking about. If you look earlier on page 156, joint stiffness is the quality that we're talking about here. All right. It's about speed of contraction. He says it again on page 156, at bottom 56 to 57. If you don't have the ability to apply accelerated plyometrics, an athlete can perform another plyometric jump focusing on the top end of the range of motion to keep the motion quick and explosive. For example, have the athletes perform a quarter squat jump rather than a full squat jump. Again, the purpose is to keep the nervous system firing at a high rate during this type of movement and keep using ones that set up the exercise for explosiveness of subsequent exercise. So again, we're looking at quick, fast movements with these band-assisted jumps. That is why when we see athletes spending too long on the ground with the band-assisted jumps, because coaches want to be like, look how high my athletes are jumping because it looks cool on the gram, we are not doing our job as strength coaches. Remember, we're not doing this to impress other coaches, to press that. We're doing this to help our athletes. We're doing this to keep our athletes on the field. All right, keep them on the field uh, or court, basket, uh, basketball court, football. You know what I'm saying? But in practice and games, we're not doing this to impress each other on the gram. We're doing this to keep our athletes on the field. Yeah, and so we can provide for our family. And you want to be able to provide for your family by being employed. And you're going to be employed by doing the right thing. And have the athletes do the band-assisted jumps the right way. On page 186, he addresses the uh, accelerated plyometrics even more. Talked about unload the human body while I did those jumping movements to mimic the speed at which second, third, and fourth, and fifth step in skating and running took place. So he's again talking about speed of contraction, not spending forever on the ground. This is why he talked about not using single leg plyometrics as much as double leg because single leg took longer to apply the force when your foot hits the ground because again inherently one leg on the ground versus two 
so you can apply the force faster when you have two because you're stronger. Then you could dive into the semantics of how strong the bands are, blah, blah, blah. I love doing the lunge jumps too. Like you can still challenge the athlete to be fast off the ground. That should be your cue when these athletes are doing the band assisted jumps. Um, whether it is double leg, single leg, or a lunge stance, I think you should do all of them. I just think you should start with double leg as Coach Caldeets talked about here because it will teach them to be the fastest. And then that's when you're teaching the athletes, hey, ground is hot, get off the ground as fast as you can, jump high, get fast off the ground. So you're training that joint stiffness. So not going to beat a dead horse to death, but reading Coach Caldeets and Ben Peterson's triphasic training here, page 187 is when he dives into the accelerated plyos even more. But the other part, page 156 and, excuse me, yeah, 156 and 157, he talks more about the French contrast and the whole reason about the bandages and jumps needing to be faster. So, coaches, if you're hearing this, if you're watching this, do a better job. Do it in a positive way like I'm trying to. I'm trying to encourage you to be positive. I'm not trying to come down on anybody. We need to do best for our athletes, and we need to make sure when we are doing our French contrast and we do our band-assisted jumps that you are doing it with minimal ground contact to improve the joint stiffness, not just like, oh, how high can I get my athletes to jump while they mush on the ground and spend too long on the ground. Happy, happy Tuesday. Later. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Why don't you celebrate by watching more videos just like it? You can also help us on our quest to placate the algorithm gods by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Thank you.